People are like puzzle pieces, each unique and bringing something cool to the table. But sometimes those pieces don't quite fit perfectly and that's where conflict pops up. Learning the art of compromise is about finding a middle ground when you and someone else see things differently. So how mastering compromise is gonna work? To reach this goal, there are things that you can do and there are things that you shouldn't do. Let's break it down. Imagine your relationship is like a garden, right? You've gotta take care of it to make sure it grows beautifully. Here are some cool tips, kinda like watering and giving sunlight to your relationship garden. The things that you should do. Number one, active listening. When your partner talks, really listen. Don't just hear the words, but try to understand what they're feeling. If you pay attention to what they're saying, it makes them feel like what they're sharing is important. It's like showing them that you care about what's going on in their head. Usually when people start having issues, it's because they think the other person doesn't get them. So just by listening and understanding, you can kind of break down that barrier and help smooth things out. Number two, express your feelings. Sharing your feelings is like you're updating your status on social media. Be real and honest. If you're happy, sad, or just confused about something, let your partner know. Remember, you cannot solve a problem without expressing your feelings, because your partner's third eye is not open to see the hidden things that you are not telling. Number three, choose the right time. Think about it like this. If your husband is busy fighting a tough video game, it wouldn't be nice to start chatting about your favorite video game, right? When you and your partner sit down specifically to discuss strategies to do some activities together, that's a good time because you're both focused on the topic and ready to share ideas and it wouldn't interfere with anything else. Number four, use I statements. Instead of dropping a you always do this bomb, you can switch it up to I feel this way when you do that. It's like you're putting your thoughts out there without pointing fingers and blaming. It's not about saying someone messed up. It's more like teaming up to solve a puzzle of feelings together. So less blame, more understanding. It's like turning a potential argument into a teamwork session where everyone's on the same side. Number five, stay calm. Imagine your relationship is this awesome playlist and sometimes the tunes get a bit loud, right? When that happens, channel your inner calm vibes. Picture responding to stuff like you're listening to your go-to chill song. No need to crank up the drama volume, just keep it cool. It's like being the DJ of your relationship playlist and you're choosing those chill beats instead of the chaotic ones. So stay calm, groove your chilled out track and keep the drama levels low. You got this. Number six, seek compromise. Imagine you and your partner are deciding on pizza toppings. You're all about that pepperoni life and they're rooting for mushrooms. Now compromise steps in like the pizza peacemaker. It's not about giving up your fave topping. It's about inventing a pizza masterpiece that brings together the best of both worlds. So in relationship lingo, compromise is like whipping up a combo that leaves you both smiling. A total win-win. It's like turning a tasty pizza into a symbol of harmony in your relationship. Number 7. Understand differences. Your relationship is like a mixtape with different genres. Celebrate the diversity. It's cool that you both have unique tastes and opinions. That's what makes your mixtape awesome. Number 8. Take breaks. Think of your relationships and conversations like a video game. You know how in games when it gets super intense or challenging, you can hit the pause button to catch your breath? Well, guess what? Your chats and relationships have a pause button too. If things start to feel a bit overwhelming or too heated, it's cool to hit pause. Take a break, catch your thoughts, and when both of you are feeling a bit more chill, you can jump back into the conversation game refreshed and ready to roll. Number 9. Focus on the issue. So imagine you and your partner are like super cool detectives working on a mystery. When an issue comes up, treat it like a case to solve. Skip bringing up old stuff. It's like bringing up unrelated mysteries from the past when you're in a new case. Instead, 
focus on the current puzzle at hand. Work together, share your thoughts, and crack the code as a dynamic detective duo. The whole point is to not forget about the main problem and process it instead of bringing all the old arguments back to this problem and making it a mess. Number 10. Apologize and forgive. Everyone messes up. It's like scoring an own goal in a soccer game. Apologize, learn from it, and move on. Forgiving is like giving your teammate a high five after a mistake. Number 11. Set boundaries. Think of boundaries like a personal space bubble. Define what's cool and what's not. It's like drawing a line for respecting each other's space. Number 12. Use humor. Laughter is like a magic spell that can break tension. Crack a joke or share a funny meme. It's like sprinkling humor on your relationship garden to help it bloom. Number 13. Empathy. Step into each other's shoes, like trying on different sneakers. Understand their journey and it'll make your adventures together even more epic. Number 14. Practice patience. Imagine your relationship is a game with different levels. Some parts might be tricky, but with patience and persistence, you can conquer them and reach the next level of awesomeness. Number 15. Consider professional help. Seeking help is like adding a wise wizard to your team. Sometimes, therapists have magical advice to make your quests easier. Number 16. Celebrate successes. It's like unlocking achievements in a game. When you solve a problem together, celebrate. It's like a victory dance for your relationship. Number 17. Reflect on patterns. Just like studying opponents' moves in a game, look for patterns in your conflicts. Identify them together and come up with new strategies to tackle them. Number 18. Stay open-minded. Imagine your mind is a treasure chest. Be open to new ideas and perspectives. Sometimes, shaking things up can lead to amazing discoveries. Number 19. Prioritize the relationship. Picture your relationship as the central storyline in a great book. It's like the main plot that keeps things interesting and meaningful. So always keep that main story in focus. Remind yourselves why your connection is important and work together to overcome any challenges that pop up. You're a team and when you face things together, you'll find that your bond becomes even stronger. Okay, so now let's get into the things that you shouldn't do. Number one, don't point fingers. It's two of you against the problem, not each other. When you're in a marriage, it's like you're a team facing challenges together, not squabbling face to face. So if you see a problem, it's like this thing you both need to tackle, not an opportunity to blame each other. It's a bit like playing on the same side in a game. The issue is the opponent, not your partner. Remember, it's all about standing together, facing the challenge and not getting caught up in the pointing fingers. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Number 2. Avoiding communication. When conflicts arise, it might be tempting to avoid talking about the issue. However, this can lead to misunderstandings and the problem lingering. Instead, embrace open and honest communication to address concerns. Number 3. Interrupting or yelling. Raised voices and interruptions can hinder effective communication. It's crucial to maintain a calm demeanor, listen actively, and express your thoughts in a composed manner to foster understanding. Number 4. Assuming intentions. Jumping to conclusions about the other person's intentions can lead to misunderstandings. Instead of assuming, ask for clarification. This ensures that both parties are on the same page, reducing the risk of miscommunication. Number 5. Refusing to compromise. Relationships involve compromise. Stubbornness can hinder progress. Be open to finding the middle ground where both parties can feel satisfied, creating a balance that benefits the relationship as a whole. Number 6. Not acknowledging feelings. Dismissing or belittling the other person's feelings can create resentment. Validating emotions and acknowledging their impact is crucial for building understanding and fostering a supportive atmosphere. Number 7. Using hurtful language. Words can have a lasting impact. 
avoid resorting to name calling or saying hurtful things out of anger. Instead, choose words carefully to express your thoughts without causing unnecessary harm. Number 8. Being Defensive Responding to conflict with a defensive attitude can hinder progress. Instead, try to approach the situation with an open mind, willing to consider different perspectives without feeling attacked. Number 9. Ignoring Nonverbal Cues Communication isn't just about words. Pay attention to nonverbal cues such as body language and facial expressions. They can provide valuable insights into the other person's feelings and concerns. Number 10. Assuming a win-lose mentality Healthy conflict resolution is not about winning or losing. It's about finding compromises that benefit both individuals and strengthen the relationship. Adopting a collaborative mindset is key. Number 11. Neglecting self-care Conflict can be emotionally draining. It's important to take care of your mental and emotional well-being. Ensure that you have moments of self-care to recharge and approach conflicts with a clearer mindset. Number 12. Relying solely on words Sometimes emotions can be challenging to express verbally. Encourage alternative forms of communication such as writing down your thoughts or using other creative outlets to convey your feelings. Well, thanks for hanging out in this video. If you found it helpful and liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment and keep an eye out for our next video.